Greetings everyone, I am back at the Griffith Park Carousel to go and take a little behind the scenes tour of the organ back there. Oh, it sounds so lovely, it's so cool. So for all of my organ enthusiasts out there or for people who don't know anything like organs, like this guy, it should be an enlightening experience. Let's get to it. those corresponds to a different note up front and that goes to the front. Wow. What a machine. Oh my goodness. Okay. And up here are obviously the, uh, the songs. You know. Okay. That's amazing. How many different songs can it play? So each row has about 10 to 12 songs on it. Okay. And we have around 150 rows. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of songs. That's amazing. Now which, now what, okay. So what you just got was vacuum only, the, uh, the pressure is... Sure. That's so cool. That's amazing. So what are all of these then? So these are vacuum valves. Okay. So there's a vacuum pump and it sucks air through the perforations in the paper. Um, the, both of these, we call these tracker bars. They're connected to a stack here. So each one goes to a common channel here. Cool. And there is a pneumatic system inside that tells that it either shifts one way or the other. Sure. And that either pressurizes this one or that one. Wow. You have to depressurize one because if, it, if it's pressurized and it rewinds, you hear both what's playing and the other one in reverse. Yeah, okay. That has happened <laughs> accidentally in the past. <laughs> so it has to go through that. Then from there it goes to each of these valves. Wow. So each of these corresponds to a hole in the paper. Okay. And paper hole opens and releases vacuum. What's the vacuum escape to atmosphere? Okay. This valve opens and it, it triggers a much larger valve inside that does the real work. Sure. And that valve either plays the percussions or it collapses a pneumatic up here which which pushes down the valve for the pipes. Yeah. Which is pressurized air instead of vacuum. Oh wow, okay. So that's how I could make it do something even without air pressure because we had vacuum pressure. Going. Yeah, okay, that's so cool. And like you said before, each one of these corresponds to a hole up here. That is amazing. How many of these are there then? Oh, on this organ. A ton. So there are 75 holes. 75 holes, wow. There are Eleven not used in this setup. Still, that's impressive. Got Sixty-four. Uh, Sixty-four. Okay. That's so cool. That is so cool. And obviously, this needs a lot of maintenance. As we were talking about before. This is considered like it's underneath the roof, but it's still an outdoor instrument. Right. It gets a lot of dirt. Lots of dirt. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is straight off the hiking trails. Oh, really? <laughs> comes to the building. Yeah. Sneaks in. So we try to keep oh. this clean and keep it closed up. Yeah, oh totally. This is so cool. There's a lot more room in here than I thought there would be as far as like pockets would go for like space like this down here. So what is this then? This is the motor for the blower which okay. provides the pressurized air. Ah, okay, perfect. Excellent. That's so cool. And this is some sort of timer over here? Uh, this is a rheostat for the vacuum motor. So oh, can... okay turn the vacuum pressure up or down. Oh, that's so cool. And nice. We run it at about 90, which creates about 50 inches of vacuum pressure. 50 inches of vacuum pressure, okay. Wow, okay. And the organ plays on about eight inches of positive pressure. Okay, nice. Wow, this is so it's cool. Inches of water, not inches of pressure. Sure, inches of water, <laughs> inches of water. <laughs> right? Oh, that's so cool. That's amazing. What's your favorite thing about working on this? Oh, the music when it's going. Yeah, the music when it's going, the yeah. Result. Oh, for sure. 
the Christmas music when I was here back in December. I think it was going through the organ. You guys have Christmas music, right? That was so great. It was so jolly. It was so cheerful. I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. So neat. Okay, and also we have lights and other things down over here, too. Okay, we have a switch for the lights on the front of the organ. Okay, nice. And then the general organ itself. The switch is on because I'm borrowing electricity from sure from the organ for my work light. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And how old is this organ? This was built in 1987. 87, okay. So it's not very old. No, but still. Hey, it's got that old, old-fashioned charm, you know? <laughs> this, this instrument was built in a European style. Okay, cool. With band organ building. So it sounds different than the Wurlitzers or North Carolina or artisan organs you'd hear on other carousels. Or sure. Uh, Mr. Stinson admired European building styles. So the system is very much his own, but the way the pipes are built and voiced is very European. So it has a, a very clean, powerful type of sound. Yeah, oh, it's great. I love it. Also back here is one of the original benches that was here at Griffith Park Merry Grand a long time ago. Um, one of the benches, you can also find the one over in Disneyland too, but the difference is I can touch this one. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, it's amazing. I love it so much. I might even get to sit in it. There might be a picture of it. I don't know. I feel like, do I do I sit? I mean, it is a bench. It's a bench. Like, it's meant to be sat on, but still, it's a piece of history. And then if you come down over here, you can see this too. Uh, the Lincoln Park Carousel, the Crispy Critter. A little piece of history. Oh man, it's so cool to be on the other side of the gate here. This is just... It's it's history, you know what I mean? Like it's just it's so cool to see this. Also, fun fact: my camera recognizes Walt's face. Uh, <laughs> it's so cool. Also, back behind here are a bunch of different roles for different music, I believe, and you can see all of the ones they have over here. So now we're just adding some new roles, um, and you, what you basically do is you come over there. It's kind of like a little device you can switch out the roles, put on kind of a new. Um, metal piece to it so that way it fits right in here and then you can take it out put it out there screw it down i got to pick them both so we're gonna see if they're winners i was told they're both good so hopefully people will enjoy them <laughs> but it's so interesting to see how uh, this is set up this way like and can't remember he's he's, he's old hand at this he knows he can do it in his sleep he do his eyes shut he's that good well, now we're starting it up
it's, ah, it's history, it's history, it's so cool, oh my gosh. Kevin just informed me all these are original paintings from 1921 by Nathan Bolius. And you can really get an appreciation for the, the age and the what they're trying to evoke. Like specific images and obviously feelings with them. Um, wow. And so I really like this one though, that's great. I like this one a lot too. Man, these, they're so cool. Do you have a favorite? Not particularly. Not particularly? They're all favorites. That's so cool. I also love the, um, the fact that like the ceiling's painted. If you call it the ceiling. Oh, it's so neat. It looks so good. Kevin's also saying if you look right in here, you can actually see the innards of how all this works. And you can kind of get an appreciation. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, just, I promise you. That's really cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. So neat. So cool. Kevin just showing me how the clutch works right there. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. It's all just tucked away. Amazing. So neat. <laughs> Original bell, OSHA proof bell. Love it. That's so great. That's great. Wow. That's so cool. And this is this like the emergency stop button? Just press the electricity to the Okay, cool. Big red button. Only press it in emergencies. Cool. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's so well done. Piece of history here. Ugh. Kind of another shot into the inner workings of the whole thing. And as you can see, you can get a really appreciation for how big this thing is and how it works. Man, it is so neat though. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. Wow, wow, wow. Ugh. Yeah. This is something I wouldn't even know how to start making something like this. Like, humans are crazy and cool, aren't they? Well, it wouldn't be a trip to the carousel without going for a ride, so thank you to the fine folks here for letting me do that. This is the third time I've ridden this, and I love it. And it goes a bit faster than you'd think. I gotta get the actual mile per hour, because uh, it, it moves, it cooks. It's great, and it's even better when the organ is kicking off. Oh, listen to that. out here experience it for yourself. Seriously, it's uh, it's just old-fashioned fun. I keep saying that, but it's so true. It's so good. Go forth, my stallions, my steeds. I don't know. I don't know what classifies a stallion. But yeah, it's great. Ah, uh, man, it's making me miss my mom. Ah, uh, last time I rode this, we rode it right around Christmas time or a few weeks before Christmas. Uh -huh. but yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so cool. It's great. So Kevin was just showing me this other bench over here, and he said his favorite part says, keep your feet off. Don't put your feet up here, guys. Be nice, huh? There you have it, everybody. I hope you appreciated this behind-the-scenes tour. I want a special shout-out to a few individuals. Thank you so much to Rosemary West, one of the owners here of the actual carousel. It's lovely chatting with you. She's so friendly, so kind, and is keeping this piece of history alive here today. Ah, it's just so neat to me. I really appreciate that. And a huge thank you to Kevin, who got to show and tour us kind of behind the scenes and show us the organ and over by Walt's bench and everything like that. If you guys would like some more kind of, um, you know, footage or kind of stuff about the Griffith Park carousel, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to come back here anytime. And if you are ever in the the kind of greater Los Angeles area, please come check this place out. It is so cool. It is a piece of living history. We wouldn't have, look, I'm wearing my Disneyland shirt. We wouldn't have this without that, really, truly. Um, and it's just so cool to come and see it and to experience it. So if you ever get the chance, come on down. Let them know Jimmy sent you. Totally worth it. Open Saturdays and Sundays, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, weather permitting. Also keep that in mind too. Either way, thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to our patrons for supporting this. And, you know, until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye.